I think we should treat bearing questions because I realize that most students don't understand bearing questions. But before we do that, there is a term we use in bearing that's angle of elevation and angle of depression. Now, I would like to explain these very terms. Now, um, we're talking about an angle of elevation. Just, just imagine that you are, you are so, someone here. You are someone here. Okay, let me talk about depression now. You are someone here. You are someone here. Now, you want to look at an object that is what? That maybe on the floor or on the ground. You know, you have to look down. So, that's the meaning of depression in that very instance. So, you have to look down. So, you are looking down through this very direction. Imagine, like, now. So, this very line, the angle it makes with the what? With the horizontal as is. Quote me. Horizontal as is. Not vertical as is. You know, there is difference between vertical as is and horizontal as is. So, with this very horizontal as is, the angle in which it, make, it makes this what? It's called... Uh, it's called the words the angle of depression. Now, when I'm talking about angle of elevation, let me explain that as well. Uh, angle of elevation in this very instance, it's um, when you are maybe you are around this very side now. Let me just a point charge, let me make it a point charge. Now, uh, let me make it a point. So, this, you, are, you are trying to work, you want to try to raise your uh, your eye so that you can look at an object that you want that is above your eye, like you are looking maybe towards the sky or things like that. Or you, are, you, you, have to, you have to raise your, your head or things like that to look at that very thing. You have to, you have to raise your eye. Now, that means that what? When we're talking about the angle of elevation in this very instance, angle of elevation is what? Is the angle in which this very line makes with what? The horizontal axis. So, uh, the angle of elevation in this very instance will be what? The angle here. The angle here. Please don't mix it with each other because when we're talking about elevation, elevation means to raise something. I'm talking about depression. Depression means to bring something lower. Just note that the two angles they are tagged with what horizontal axis. Don't use vertical axis for angle of elevation or angle of what um, or angle of depression. No, it won't work. Now, listen. I've solved twenty important questions on indices. On like in white mathematics past questions, I've solved twenty important questions on indices. If you need that very video, it is forty-five minutes uh, uh, somehow video. So if you need that very video, you can click the card you can see on the screen right now, or check the description section. The video will help you a lot. I recommend a lot of things that would help you on indices. We've also done many videos on important topics as well. So to join us and solve these very questions, please don't forget to what click the red subscribe button below this very video. That red subscribe button and the notification bell. I hope you've clicked that. You are welcome. Okay, now let's solve this question. A point H is what? It's 10 meters away from the foot of our tower on what? On the same horizontal ground. So let's do that. Uh, these are horizontal ground, right? Now, we have what? We have point H, right? So there is a point H here. Okay. And uh, we have we have also what? We have a tower of what? The, the tower, the, the foot of that very tower is what? On the same horizontal ground, uh, okay, okay, okay. The foot of that very tower is what 20, 20 meters away from that foot, uh, from the foot of that very tower, right? So let's make this the foot of the very tower. Now, after we've done that, we know we, we should have what we should have um, 20 as the distance between this very tower. So you can just see from this very, very place to this very place will be what will be 20. So from this very place to this very place is what we have it to be 20. Please try to what try to make sure. Uh, there is nothing like a mistake here because this is the very part that what that people mean so, uh, and they will they would they would end up getting zero in the question uh, in questions on what on bearing now after that from the point h the angle of elevation of what of the point p i want you to understand here that what the point p is not what is not the top of that very tower it's just what it's just a, a point on that very tower so we can actually tag that very point p to be some somewhere here so let's write point P there. Let's write P here. So now the angle of elevation, you know, we, 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 we uh, the angle of elevation here, we are, we, are, we are given 30 degrees and we are given 50 degrees. So 50 degrees is for what? For the top of the tower. Why uh, 30 degrees is for what? It's for that very point P. So let's look for what? Let's, let's look, uh, let's, let's actually target to point P. So from this very place to this very place. That's what? That's the angle of elevation, and you can see what you can just like you can see there, you can see 30 degrees. So, write 30 degrees here. Now, after you've written 30 degrees, the angle of the top of like the top of the tower, right? So, let's 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 use this to be top of the tower. Tower, I, I just like, like you can see. So, from this very place to this very place, we are, we are actually told to be what for it to be for it to be 50. 
I told that the angle here will be what will be 50. Now, after we've gotten that, uh, we are told to what to now calculate the what the, to three significant figures PT. Where is PT? PT is actually okay. The top of the tower here is T. I didn't write it. So now PT is actually what PT. How, how would you get this very angle? Uh, this very line PT. Okay, we are actually going to introduce what we mean by soccer tour where you know that what we are talking about sokatoa we have sine equals to what opposite over adjacent we have what we have a uh, cos to be what adjacent over hypotenuse and we have what we have tan to be what to be uh, to be like the tan of that very angle to be opposite over adjacent in this very context we are going to use tan because what we are actually looking for what the opposite just stuff like this we are actually looking for stuff like this and uh, we are actually looking for what uh, and we and we have the what the adjacent so that means we need to what you need to use this very tan. Now, don't forget that we're actually looking for this very point T to what to P. But before you can get that, what you are going to do is to what is to actually get this very place T to what T to this very point. Let me call it O. T to, to, to this very origin here, O. That, that's to the what to the base of that very tower. So after we've gotten that, we subtract it from what? From this very um, P to O. So after we've gotten that, we'll be able to what we'll be able to get the the other length. The, that's the exact length we are looking for here. Now starting with OP, you actually have the the tan to be what tan will be tan tan thirty degrees. No, that's the very triangle you can see there, right? The very triangle you can see here. So thirty degrees. Um, now what is the opposite? You know that we are actually talking about tour. So it is what opposite of adjacent adjacent. What's the opposite of that very angle? You see that the opposite will be what? The opposite will be OP. So write OP uh, over what is adjacent? The adjacent is what? The adjacent is 20. So write 20. Now to get OP here, what you are going to do is to what? Is to write OP equals to what? Equals to 20 times tan, te, uh, tan 30. So write it tan tan what? Tan 30. 30 degrees. Now, if you try to uh, solve, maybe just type tan 30 on your calculator, you'll get something like 0 point what? 0 0.5747. Now, you multiply this with what? You multiply this with 20 to get our final answer. And if you try it, you will, you will get your OP to be what? Let me write OP here. You will, you will get your OP. Yeah, your OP would be what? Would be 11.54. It. so that will be what in meters so don't forget now let's look for ot the what the length of this very side so, you know the angle there is 50 right so this is very easy with that just write tan tan 50 degrees equals to what's the opposite the opposite is what the opposite is the angle we are actually looking for so, just write ot over now what is the adjacent the adjacent is what? The adjacent is 20, just like we used the other time. So just write 20 here. Now, after you've written 20 here, you'll be able to just write OT to be what? Your OT would be tan, tan what? Tan 50 times 20. Okay, so tan 50 is what? Tan 50 is uh, 1.192. So you multiply this with 20 and you would get what? You'll get your final answer for this very OT to be what? To be 23.84. Now, this is it. I, 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 I want you to understand this very question. You've actually gotten OP, right? You've actually gotten this very side. This is the length of this very place to this very place. And we've also gotten the length of what? OT. So that's the total length from O to what? To T. So for us to get TP, this very side here, we just have to subtract. We have to subtract what? We have to subtract. Uh, OP from what? From OT. So that's what we are going to do right now. OT OT equals to what? OT equals to OP plus what? Plus PT, right? Now, so PT will be what? PT would be PT would be 23.84. Now, subtract that from what? From what we got the other time. That's what? 11 point five four eight and uh, if you point your calculator you'll get what you'll get your answer to be what to be twelve point two nine two now 
So three significant figures would be what? Would be twelve point three meters. Please, it's essential. Don't forget. Don't forget. Now the next question now is what? The distance between each and what? And the top of the tower. Now, actually, we can guess this with different methods. You know, we've actually gotten uh, the what? The distance from T to what? T to this very O. We've actually gotten the distance to this very place. And we've actually gotten H to O. We can just see a potential square equals to adjacent square plus opposite square. And we can also use other methods. So, okay, let's use, let's use, which one should we use? Let's use a, 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 a potential square equals to opposite square over adjacent square. Okay, let's write a potential square. A potential square equals to equals to what? Opposite square plus plus what? Adjacent square. Now we are actually trying to look for what the hypotenuse. So we'll leave it there. So equals to what? What's the opposite? We try to check the very question. You see that the opposite is what? The opposite is we've actually gotten the opposite before, and that is what? 23. Eight. When we are solving the right time, we got to the opposite. So we can add 20, uh, 23 point or what? 84 square plus what's the adjacent? The adjacent is what? The adjacent is 20 square. Yeah, 20. Just like you can see in that very question. Now, the square of what? 23.84 would be what? Would be 5, 6, 8, point what? Point 3, 4, 5, 6. Now we'd have to add that with what? We'd have to add that with 20 square. You know, 20 square would be what? Would be 400. Now, after that, you would what? You would have your answers to be what? To be 968. Now uh, your answer to be 968. Point, point what? Point 3456. Now we have to look for the square root of this very thing we've got it so that we can get the hypotenuse. You know, this is the hypotenuse square, right? So if you look for the square root, you would have what? You would have the square root to be. Yes, you would put the square square uh, square root here, so you would have the square root to be thirty one point thirty one point what thirty one point one one eight two five. And uh, you know, don't forget what you said the other time that what we must convert it to what three significant figures. You can check the uh, question. I will still what I will still bring back the question now. So it's what convert to what three significant figures. Now, if you want to convert to three significant figures, it's what it's thirty one point one. Because what? Because the one that follows that very one is not what? It's not up to five. We would have what? Round it off so that it will be 31.2. And uh, don't forget, you have to add what? You have to add meters here. Now, option what? Option C. The position of H. If the angle of depression H from the top of the tower is to be what? 40 degrees. So that means that this very top of the tower you can see here. Now, there is a line that what that if, 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 if they are trying to tell us that this H, if it were not be if, if it were not here, where would it be? So let's just see. Okay, it could be somewhere around the side, right? But before then, before then, what you are going to do is to what is to look at this very angle of depression that we were, we were given. The angle angle of depression is what 40 degrees. That is the angle in which the line makes with what? Mixed with the what the horizontal line. So this place is what? This place is actually 40 degrees. Now for this place to be 40 degrees, I told you this place also would be what? This place also would be 40 degrees. You see? That is when we have 40 degrees here. That, that, that's actually telling us that um it's what? It's what? It's just a, a, a kind of you know this, this is a straight line here and this is a straight line here. They are parallel to each other. So the angle here must be the same thing as the angle there. So that's 40 degrees. Now the you know, don't forget what we, what we were trying to, to guess. The what we are trying to guess is this very point here. Yeah, do you understand? So we have to what we have to look for the tan of this very angle. Like now, we are going to do what we are going to write our tan uh, tan what? Then 40 degrees, then 40 degrees to be equals to what? Our uh, 10 40 degrees to be equals to what's the opposite? The opposite there is what is 23 point what point eight four. So we divide all through by what the adjacent. Where's the adjacent? The adjacent is what is exactly what we are trying to what to look for. So we just write um just just represent it something. Let, let's represent it, re represent it with x. This is it. Too. This is the what this is the opposite, right? And this is the what this is the uh, adjacent, and that's the line we are trying to look for. So with that, you will get your x to be what? To be 23, 23.84 over what? 
over tan tan 40 tan 40 degrees now with that we will be able to get this to be what to be um okay 23.84 what's tan 40 tan 40 would give you 0. Point, 0. Point what 0. 0.8391 and with that, if you solve it, you will get your answer to be what? Your answer will be 28.41. Now, and uh, that means what? This very, uh, from the, from what? From the base of that very, from the what? From the tip of that very tower to what? To that very point here. To the very point here, we have what? We have it to be 28.41 meters. If it were to be what? 40 degrees. But now, we have to what? We have to change it to three significant figures. That's what? 28 point four meters now another thing is this if we were told to get to get the what the position from what from h like if if, 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 if we, were, we were told to get the what the distance of that very point from h so that means we are going to what we are going to look for what we are going to look for uh we'll, we'll write the, the, the what the distance of 20 would we'll subtract it from what the distance of what we just got so that will give us what 28 we'll use the one that we we've, we've actually not a uh, you are not uh, approximated so that's minus what so minus what minus we have minus 20 and that would give us what that would give us 8.41 meters now you see this one is actually what it has uh, actually been been what taken to what three significant figures so we don't need to what take it to three significant figures so that's that's the answer to this very question now, for the video on indices I told you earlier, you can click the card you can see on the screen right now. It will help you a lot. Please, if you have not subscribed, click the red subscribe button and the notification bell. Don't forget to invite your friends so that what you will also gain from this very channel. I wish you the very best in your examination. Stay blessed. Don't forget, the name of this channel is Do You Know AGF.